This is a bone stock Suron X. You recently saw me compare this exact bike to a Talaria Sting. And in that comparison, you heard me mention that I'm gonna start modifying this Suron. Thanks to Shock Bikes, this little Suron has a bright future ahead. I usually don't show the entire process, like on the XX build that I did, I just showed you guys the final product, but on this one, I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. I'll show you every little thing that I'm gonna do to this bike, and it's going to be a lot, because this bike is going to be far from stock by the time I'm done with it. Shock hooked me up with a bunch of crazy parts for this bike and more. So over the course of the next month, we're gonna do a full transformation of this stock Suron and turn it into what I'm gonna nickname it, the beast. If you're interested in any of the parts that I'm gonna mention, I'll put links in the description so you guys can research it. First things first, we need to upgrade the power on the beast. So I brought the parts from Shock Bikes over to my friends at Elite Motorsports to help bolt on the power mods. It's getting a BAC 8000 controller with a 15 kilowatt EBMX tune. To keep an eye on the bike's info, I'll be running an APT display. To power the beast, we're gonna run the new EBMX 72 volt 57 amp hour battery. This battery is a monster, totaling 4.1 kilowatt hours of capacity, which is 213% more than the stock 60 volt Suron battery. Because this battery is so massive, we've got to run an EBMX seat extender on the bike to make it fit. So this is going to raise the seat two inches higher and one and a half inches further back. To keep the motor protected, we put on the Pro Bash plate. Last but not least, I'm switching out the stock throttle for a dirty bike throttle. Dirty Bike has a bunch of different throttle options that I'll experiment with, but I want to try out their mechanical quarter quick turn throttle. Startup procedure for the Shock Bikes EBMX 72 volt BAC 8000 kit. Let's get this thing fired up. You just gotta turn the key here. That makes it live, and then you've got your power button right here. Hold that down. Suron Mod Shop. All right. Now you've got all your all your deals right here. All the modes zero through five there's a pretty cool app that i'm going to show you guys uh one thing that i already did through that app was program this throttle because it's uh obviously a bit different than stock and uh yeah some pretty cool features in there i'm gonna run everything the way that this tune comes uh there's quite a few parameters in there that you can change so it'll be fun to go through and, and check all that stuff out pretty nice app from ebmx so yeah not much else to say this thing's live Let's go ride it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, even in mode three, this thing is. <laughs> oh, this thing's such a hot rod. Alright, we're on the road here. Probably a safe place to try this mode five. Hopefully you guys can see this thing just off the front, front wheel. Alright, we're in mode three now. Oh man. This thing's got so much torque. Oh, it's like so quick. I know plenty of you are running 72 volt kits with the BAC 8000 and 4000 and all that, and you know what happens as soon as you do that, you open up a can of worms. That's already obvious that I have opened that can of worms. And what is that can of worms? Well, 
it's the can of worms of modifying a Suron. And now with all this extra power, you've really got to do the other mods to the bike. Like, I feel like I kind of have to take it easy because it yeah, has a lot of extra weight now, but all this extra power on the stock equipment, specifically the suspension and the wheels. Seems like a lot for the bike. Oh, the smooth stuff is so fun. Man. Yeah. Oh, that fork cannot handle that. Speed and weight. That just did not feel very good. So now that the can of worms has been opened in the power department, we've got a lot more work to do to the rest of the bike. Any guesses on what we'll put on next? Check in for episode two of Building the Beast, where we're gonna tackle some mods that are going to completely transform this bike.